Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial guys, we are going to be tackling question 3.3 from the grade 12 mathematical literacy paper 2 that was written in June 2023. Okay, and this question guys deals with measurements. In particular, we're going to be working with time, we're going to be doing some conversions, and we're also going to be converting temperature from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So without any further ado guys, let's get started with today's video tutorial. So like I mentioned in today's video tutorial, guys, we are going to be tackling question um 3.3. And question 3.3, guys, deals with measurement. So let us get started. It says the instructions on the ready mix plaster bag are as follows. Okay, it says that you need to use 7 liters of water for a 40 kg bag of ready mix plaster. You need to mix water and plaster for 4 minutes to achieve a good consistency. Okay, they are told that you do not over mix so people i mean when you're mixing you shouldn't over mix okay then you need to allow the mixture to stand for three minutes for additives to dissolve okay and then you need to mix again for about two minutes okay and then that is when your plaster is going to be ready for okay question 3.1.1 obviously we are told to use the above informations information to answer the questions question 3.1 says determine the time that umati must start mixing the first bag of ready mix plaster if she wants this bag to be ready for use at 805 okay so in this case right what will help us because they're telling us now that okay this ready mix plaster needs to be ready for use at five past eight okay so if it needs to be ready at five past eight when must she start mixing the first bag okay so here we are given information okay we are told that you need to mix the water and the plaster for four minutes okay we need to allow the mixture to stand for three minutes so it must sit for three minutes and then you need to mix it again for two minutes okay so what is the total time to basically get this ready mix plaster ready okay so if you take four plus three plus two okay the total time to prepare this ready mix okay is actually nine minutes okay okay so the total time if you take four plus three minutes plus two minutes is actually nine minutes okay and if we know and if we are being told that this ready mix has to be ready by 0805 when must he start preparing okay that means that he needs to start preparing okay this ready mix at 805 minus nine minutes okay so how do we minus nine minutes from five past eight okay so i'm thinking for us to minus nine minutes just think of it this way if you minus five minutes, so if I minus eight or five, if I minus five minutes, okay, that will leave me at o eight zero zero. How many more minutes do we still need to minus? Four minutes, okay. Then if you take o eight zero zero and you minus four minutes, where will that take you? Okay, so if you're at o eight zero zero and you minus four, you at o seven five nine o seven five eight. 075706. Seven, seven, so that will put you at 0756. Okay. Therefore, the time that Unati must start mixing the first bag, okay, needs to be at 0756. Okay. So that is basically how I work with these questions that deal with time. I just think of it like practically, because I think if you do that, you're not going to. Um, make a mistake okay okay so we're done with question 3.3.1 so have a look at question 3.3.2 it says calculate rounded to two decimal places do you see here now they are being specific at how you need to do your rounding off how many gallons of water she will use to mix five bags of plaster right and they give us that if one gallon is equal to 3.78541 
leads. So this equation is going to come in very handy when we want to now convert the liters into gallons okay so please keep that in mind this equation is going to help us with our conversion but where do we need to start what's the first thing we need to do in this case now we have to go back to the information that was given to us here at the top and they told us that seven liters of water for a 40 kg bag of ready mix plaster so in other words they are saying that one bag okay you need seven liters of water okay and that one bag is actually 40 kg okay so one bag weighs 40 kilograms and you need to use seven liters of water for one bag so in other words right one bag you need seven liters of water okay what is the question asking us it says that calculate how many gallons of water she will need to mix five bags of plaster so in this case she wants to mix five bags okay so what do we need to to do to determine how many liters of water she will need for that five bags okay so in this case all we need we know that she wants to mix five bags okay we want to determine how many liters she will need for that five bags what can we do we can also use this equation to help us determine how many liters she will need okay so you can just say five bags multiplied by what you want you want to determine the liters so it's just seven liters divided by what you have which is the bags okay or someone could have just seen that all we need to do is just take that five and you multiply it by seven liters okay so if you take five and you multiply it by seven liters what do you get you will get that okay if she wants to basically um mix five bags she will need 35 liters of water okay so now that we know how many liters of water she will need how can we then convert how many gallons of water she will need so we're going to use basically that equation that has been given to us here that one gallon is equal to 3.78541 okay let's write it down one gallon is equal to 0.78541 liters okay then we already know that we've got five liters we want to convert those five liters into gallons right so if you're going to be using this equation to help us convert same thing same story you multiply by what you want you divide it by what you have you multiply by the units that you want you divide it by the units that you already have so in this case we want to convert that 35 liters into gallons you multiply by the units that you want so you're going to multiply it by one gallon and then you're going to divide it the units that you already have we already have our units in liters okay so it's going to be divided by 3.78541 liters okay so that's how you need to go about obviously tackling this question you see the liters and the liters they'll cancel whatever answer that you will obtain it will be in gallons okay so the answer that we want to get is going to give us our units in gallons so if you punch that into your calculator you will get the 35 divided by this is the same as just saying 35 liters divided 3.78541 liters okay you will basically get 9.2460269 gallons however you need to be sure the question said that you need to round off the answer to two decimal places so in this case to round off to two decimal places you look at the third digit after the comma which is a six that six is greater than five okay so in that case our answer will be 9.23 gallons of water okay so that is basically the gallons of water that she will use to mix five bags of plaster okay let's have a look at question 3.3 now in question 3.3.3 we are basically converting from degrees fahrenheit to degrees 
Celsius. Okay. It says the plaster reaches its full strength 21 days after it has been applied at an average room temperature of 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit. We are asked to convert this temperature to degrees Celsius. Okay. And we are told that we need, we can actually just use this formula to help us with the conversions. All that we need to do, we are going to rewrite that formula as is. Okay. So the formula is saying degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees is equal to 1.8 multiplied by degrees Celsius. Okay. Right. So remember, we want to convert that 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit. All that we need to do where we see degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to put that 73.4. Okay minus the 32 degrees okay and that is equal to 1.8 times degrees celsius okay what is 73.73.4 minus 32 you will get it's 41.4 okay degrees and that is equal to that is just saying 1.8 degrees celsius okay and then what do we want to do here we want to isolate the degrees celsius okay because we want to determine what is the temperature in degrees celsius okay so to so to isolate the degrees celsius okay you need to do the inverse of what they did here at the top what is the inverse of multiplication? Remember, for us to move from here to there, we are multiplying this 1.8 by the degree Celsius. So what is the inverse of multiplication? Okay, the inverse of multiplication is division. So you need to divide by that 1.8 to cancel it out on the right-hand side. If you divide by 1.8 on the right-hand side, you also need to divide by 1.8 on the left-hand side. So the temperature in degree Celsius is therefore equal to 4 1.4 degrees divided by 1.8 and that is going to give you 23 okay degrees celsius okay so the answer is just 23 degrees celsius okay so that is us basically converting the degrees fahrenheit to degrees celsius all right so that is it for today's video tutorial um i hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial where we were basically dealing with time conversions and temperature which is still under measurements okay In the vi next video tutorial guys we are going to be tackling question 4.1 question 4.1 it deals with a layout uh, plan of a holiday resort okay so this falls under maps and plans so the other topic that is basically assessed on your paper too so please make sure that you watch that video tutorial please make sure that you have your notification bells turned on please make sure that you are subscribed and please don't forget to give these video tutorials a huge thumbs up guys because it really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach a wider audience okay a wider audience so i'll see you guys on my next upload and that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.